Well, in Australia, I think we've sorted out the criminal law and we've sorted out many of the uh, laws relating to financial interests of uh, gay people, their pension rights uh, and so on. Uh, marriage equality is an important uh, new uh, idea which is uh, ultimately going to be accepted by our legislatures. If you ask me what is left, then there are little bits and pieces of the law, but very important to those who are affected. For example, the law relating to aged care. Uh, this was the subject of legislation that was enacted during the uh, previous government, the Labor government, uh, and it's therefore passed into law. However, the uh, present government, the Abbott government, has indicated that it's going to be reconsidering uh, the provisions of that law insofar as the law applied the non-discriminatory principle uh, to gay people, including in church-run aged care facilities. So that is going to come up and I think it will be unfortunate if we take a step back, something we don't normally do in human rights, but it's an issue that will definitely be before the Australian community in the next year and I hope it will be properly uh, resolved by leaving well alone. The lack of respect for LGBT people I think comes uh, essentially from a lack of familiarity. It's a bit like uh, how in the 1960s and, uh, and later Australians really disrespected the Aboriginal people of Australia and disrespected uh, Asian Australians. Uh, we did that because we really didn't know these communities in our midst and we didn't have much to do with them. Uh, now we have much more to do with the Aboriginal uh, Australians and also with Asian Australians. They have become our friends, uh, our colleagues, our workmates. And so it is also with GLBT people. Uh, in the past, they were trained, really from their infancy, uh, don't ask, don't tell, pretend to be straight, don't uh, confront uh, the demons that are in other people's minds. But nowadays, more and more people who are gay are standing up and saying, well, that's just ridiculous. Uh, this is a natural variation uh, in the human species and people just have to get used to it. So I think that's the solution. More people standing up, more people coming out, more support by straight people for their gay family and friends. The Commonwealth countries uh, have a, a link in their hostility to GLBT uh, people because the British had a big thing about sex. They found it very difficult to accommodate and so they had a lot of laws uh, against sex workers and they had a lot of laws against sexual minorities, including gays, uh, mostly against gay men. Uh, and those laws were enacted during colonial times. Uh, they were generally enacted in a very similar format uh, in provisions such as Section 377 of the Indian Penal Code, which has been held in India to be unconstitutional. Uh, so this is something that was imported with the many great gifts that the British gave uh, to the countries in their empire, especially the independent judiciary uh, and the rule of law, they also gave this rather unlovely legacy and uh, sadly it still remains in place and we, we seem to have reached a logjam and there doesn't seem to be much action at the moment in getting change and that is something that I hope international lawyers, other lawyers and citizens generally will take an interest in and contribute to the change. My experiences were those of a, an ordinary gay Australian growing up in a community of great hostility uh, and fear uh, and criminal laws which penalised and humiliated and stigmatised me and made me think I was second rate. Well, I wasn't second rate and I knew I wasn't second rate, but I had to pretend uh, by silence about this aspect of my life that I was. 
Fortunately, I met a, a, a wonderful partner 45 years ago, and he wasn't from my Anglo-Saxon background. He was from the Netherlands. And they are very, very blunt people. And their, their culture is to confront these issues. They didn't have criminal laws in the Netherlands against gay people. And they had increasing moves for equality and dignity for gay people. So with the urgings of my partner, I became more and more involved in standing up and in taking part in the a great struggle against HIV and AIDS, which fell heavily on the gay community, uh, both in Australia and overseas, but also in the issues of international law and national law reform uh, relating to gays. It's not the most important issue in the world. It's not the most important legal issue in our country, but it is an issue of injustice, inequality and discrimination. And as such, all Australians should be concerned to remove those sources of injustice and uh, I believe lawyers in particular have a responsibility in this respect because it's been the law that's been the vehicle uh, of humiliation and injustice.